So guys, this is really funny. Just like they always say that say, one man's meat is another man's poison. Some people say they want us. Some people say they don't want us. Some people are saying, let them be reformed. Because now, before now, they've called for their uh, disbandments. And at the end of the day, nothing really happened. Some people are saying, oh, yes, if they are not on the street again, they are not there again, ah, the, the crime will be so high. No, what, since they are there now, has the crime reduced? Or are they, you, are they not the ones that have you know turned themselves to be uh what people are complaining about now so i don't just uh see any reason why they should not be well coordinated or well articulated because if really the the police knows quite all right how they are going to go about it they wouldn't have even gone for the disbandment in the in the first place so why did they do that because they know that they've tried it in the past it didn't just work so i think the best thing is not as if maybe they are trying to bow to pressure all that because if you have solutions to something you'll be able to go for it what were they waiting for all this while before this whole thing escalated or things getting deteriorated so you can imagine those people calling oh we want us we want us <laughs> like i said one man's meat is another man's uh, poison and um, a lot of people are not really uh, you know it's not just funny and you can imagine some youths there say yes we don't want it we don't want it we don't want them we don't want them they've committed said a lot of atrocities compared to even the so-called criminals they were looking for so that is just it well these people are not really hopeful at all you can see them and someone is asking this is the reason why biafra wants to be on its own and someone says yes so you are very very right what kind of people be this safe and inside house they go do that one let him come outside now let me then come out no these are not real you can see it's is it really fake? Really fake? Really? Hmm. Some people are still they can they can be funny. With these people that are saying it's really fake. <laughs> ah, Nigeria. This is okay. Somebody saying this is a is, this is doctored. Can you believe that this really this thing is really doctored? You know, those who know how to defend what is not, they always come out with their excuses. Okay, so we 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 should regard Kemiolulo your statement to as a being doctored when she came out and we we've heard a lot of people the nurse president is he nurse president or one of the executives of the uh nurse coming out to say oh the igp should arrest them so that one is a doctored statement as well you know pe some people are not really they are really really funny even when they are saying things like they always say koro koro with their two eyes they will still be denying it they will tell you that they don't want to agree to that even if they know that it is right they will tell you they don't want to agree to that we have seen we have heard from a lot of people who have coming out who are coming out to say oh those who are calling for the uh ban of sas they are the ones that are criminal criminally minded that most of them are criminal okay somebody said oh it is the yahoo yahoo boys that are sponsoring this protest how come so does it mean yahoo yahoo now it's not something people are going to be proud of they will not begin to give people money. People will not say, oh, uh, continue to defraud people. Or if I'm opportune or if I fall victim of being defrauded, so I will be happy about that. They will not give you money to go and, to go and be protesting. You know, it's just unfortunate statement. And just like somebody is saying here that uh, it is not real. With these people, it is not real. What are you talking about? What are we talking about? So we just have to be careful. And most importantly, everything lies on the on the table on the hands of the federal government especially the president especially the president what is he doing what are they doing why are they playing lip service to the plights of the people why are they into all of these things why is it that they are just 
this is a I don't I don't care attitude. Just like a um Ganduje say hey, coming out and he, he said it the way it is. He said it the way it is. What more can one say? Of course, they are in the same party. All of them they know what they are they know what they are doing. Those who have sat back and begin to look at things getting worse, getting deteriorated because you know the reason the reason why these people are so confident, the so called leaders, the reason they are so confident is that they believe that all of those vices will never come near them. How will they come them near them? Ah yes, they will just travel out of the country or they send their family members out of the country. So they have that assurance, they have that belief that nothing that will happen in this country that will affect them. Even they even believe in the old world because they believe they have money to spend, they have all the resources to take care of themselves. You know, believe you me, these people is all about selfishness and greed. Believe me, if these people have been affected, you think they are going to fold their arms and be watching and be watching. And I remember the statement of a DSS. Anytime they will tell you, oh, we hate so, 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 and so. You don't expect us to fold our arms and begin to watch people doing the wrong thing. This issue of SARS has been ongoing for the past two years. People have been complaining. This The DSS will not hear that. They will not hear that. But when they want to do eye service to be overzealous, they will begin to look for somebody who is uh, insulting the president, who is not saying this, somebody who is criticizing, or they'll begin to invite you. Come and say this. Why do you want to... Why were you saying this? Why were you criticizing the uh, the president? They will tell you, oh, we cannot fold our arms, like, seriously, but see what the SARS has been doing. They want to tell us that they never had such a thing. It's unfortunate, really, really unfortunate that a... We don't want we don't have somebody that can really pull the trigger that will be able to stand for the people very very unfortunate somebody that can say yes i i, I am there for you but when election time comes they will be moving from pillar to post they will be sweating they will be they will be they will be repeating all these failed promises that they've said before and unfortunately some people a lot of people will buy into it these people are not saying, we want us, we want us, we want us. A lot of people have come out to say they want us. Even in the notes, they are saying, oh, they want us, they do this, they will do that. So, guys, let us hear your opinion concerning this, uh, uh, those calling for a continuation of SARS in the country. Leave your comment below and let's have your take. Thank you. We want us. We want us. We want us.